Okay, now it's time for the leader's role in the simultaneous Charleston tandem kick around. Or something like that. <laughs> so simultaneous kick around means that before she was just doing the kick around and we get to hang here and do our basic uh, type of steps and lead her. Now we're going to get spinning around 360 degrees as well. So it will go about halfway on the one through five. One, two, three, four. All right, the five is where I'm passing the hand, and then hitch on six, seven, eight, and passing the hand again. So it's a little tricky. I'll show it from this angle. So there's an upper body torque that gets it going. So we're going to start some rotation. I'm going to rotate on the kick and step, then on the, so landing on four. On the five, I'm kicking in any direction, wherever I happen to land, that's fine and passing her hand. So I've released her left hand. We've started in tandem. Released the left early on in the move. Coming around, now I've got her right hand in my right hand, and I need to switch it to be in my left hand. Only for the five, six, seven, and by the seven, I've switched it from the left to the right. The switching of the hand is just a tangling prevention. Okay, we can't hold on to this hand the whole way, or we'd get all tangled up. So we need to switch it to this hand, then come around, pick it up again, and reconnect. So the whole thing looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One more time from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Start to rotate. Three, five, seven. Boom. So the hands passed once on five, and then again on seven, getting right back into tandem, Charleston on one.